okay this is the next video and uh, the continuation of a video in um, we are covering aws certified cloud practitioner some question from the exam topics.com website so let's cover next 15 question so till now we have covered like first 45 question so the next question a company wants to run productive workload on aws so they want to run some workload production workload sorry production workload on aws the company needs concrete service a designated aws tm that is a technical account manager and a technical support available 24 crore 7 which aws support plan so just by looking this keyword technical account manager the only and only answer is enterprise support because we have the like four support plan basic developer and uh, business and then enterprise so basic is like the whenever we create the account so we get the basic support plan developer if we want to do some development de uh, development purpose we can use with the development if we want with the production we will go with the business support if we have gone some like uh, some one step ahead we will with the enterprise support level and within only and only within the enterprise support level we get the aws technical account manager support so our only answer is b so an answer is b so one user has give the link as well so if you open this link we, which has the AWS support plan. So if you scroll down and uh, search the TAM, uh, technical account manager, uh, one second. Okay. He gave the enterprise level only. So if I search AWS support plans, so here we have like basic developer, basic is not there, basic basic is because free. Developer, business, enterprise on, on ramp and enterprise. So under the enterprise, you will able to see uh, technical account manager, that is a TAM. So designated technical account manager will be allocated for you for any kind of like exploited device. All right. Here in this enterprise on ramp, a pool of technical manager and then from the pool, and any any technical manager will come but in the business developer no technical manager basically only in only in the enterprise whether it is enterprise on ram or its enterprise tm will be available so answer is our b next question which architecture design principle describe the need to isolate failure between dependent components in the aws cloud so which design component describe to isolate to isolate failure between dependent components use the monolithic so monolithic is wrong so they said like use rather than the microservice use the monolithic if we use the monolithic if one service is down every application is down whole bit design for automation so wrong design for single point of failure wrong is loosely coupled component that is correct so we basically need to follow this design principle that is the loosely uh, like a uh, couple component to isolate failure to isolate failure means like if one component fail it should not impact the other component that is to isolate the failure so option d is correct option d is correct which aws service are managed database service so if you look at the and we need to select two if you look at the option there are only and only two database service one is the rds and one is the dynamodb rest is not a database service efs is a file system ebs is the block level system r3 is the like simple normal object level system rds is the database and dynamodb is the database so c and d is the correct answer so c and d is the correct answer a company is using the aws free tire for several aws service okay what will happen if the free tire usage period expire if the application use exceeds the free tire usage limit so let's put if i am using the free tire and i get like 5 gb of one service and i use 6 gb so what will happen the only thing is happened till first 5 gb i don't have to pay but for the next 5 gb for the next one gb i will pay like depend on the pay as you go service how much i will use i will i will have to pay so the option is only one the company will charge the standard pay as you go service that's it which will like exceed the free tire usage. If you look at the other option, the other option like that, it will frozen your account. No, our account will not go into frozen. AWS support team will contact you. No, the AWS will be charged for the free tire as well. No, they will not charge for the free tire. So option A is correct. So option A is correct. So next question. 
a company recently deployed an RDS, so they have deployed RDS in a VPC. The company needs to implement a stateful firewall. So it is a stateful firewall. So this is a keyword to limit traffic to the virtual corporate network, which AWS service or feature should the company use to limit network to the RDS instance. So if we if we limit the network to any instance, we should the security security groups. And along with that, it is mentioned stateful firewall. So stateful is the security groups only. If it is stateless, then we will go with the network ACL. And the rest, all these are wrong. WF is only the like uh, web application firewall, only for the website. Guard duties is to like prevent uh, the malicious activities. So C and D are also wrong. So, so option B is correct. So let's go to the next questions. Which AWS service uses machine learning to help discover, monitor, and protect sensitive data in store in image and S3 bucket? So that is, if you see the machine learning, only and only option left is the Mac key. So Shield is, uh, AWS Shield is to prevent the DDoS attack, network fire releases, the network fire cognito uh, to store the, like, the user uh, uh, data for the login purpose for the mobile or web application so mac key and mac key is a machine learning service which will detect sensitive data sensitive data means if i stored my password or my sensitive information in the only in the s3 bucket so mac key only work with the s3 bucket so so answer is option b imagine mac key a company wants to improve the overall availability and performance of its application that are hosted on aws which aws service should the company use so they want to improve the overall availability and performance. So which service they use? So the answer is AWS Global Accelerator. Because imagine connect, light sale is like, if light sale is a, a kind of a, uh, we have the console.aws.com one portal. A light sale is a different portal. Uh, they have like created a, like one, a very subset of portal in which we have a few services because whoever is a new user who don't know how to operate the AWS cloud, they can go with the light, light sale. Like, uh, so light sale is not an answer. So the AWS global accelerator is the answer. So if you uh, go with the answers, so one person will give you the, like, uh, the link as well. So if you open the link, so AWS global accelerator, improve global application availability and performance using the AWS global network. And the question is this only, improve the overall availability and the performance of its application. So answer is AWS global accelerator. Which AWS service or feature identifies whether an Amazon S3 bucket or IAM role has been shared with an external identity. So how we go to know whether IAM role has been shared with some other external identity or S3, S3 bucket role. So which service? So answer is IAM access analyzer. So IAM access analyzer is one of the uh, like uh, service. So we can use that. Organization is uh, like organization, the wrong answer system manager is just to check which services are available up and running service catalog is also wrong. So IAM access analyzer. If we read the question, only and only option left is IAM access analyzer. And uh, one person even give the link as well. And uh, if you open this link, so using AWS IAM Access Analyzer. So IAM Access Analyzer helps identify the resources in your organization and accounts that are shared with the external identity. So the question is also, we need to identify like uh, which has been shared with the external identity. So answer is AWS IAM Access Manager. A company does not want to rely on elaborate forecasting to determine its usage of compute resources. Instead, the company wants to pay only for the resource. So they don't want to forecast. They just want to pay only for the resource, whatever they use. The company also needs the ability to increase or decrease the resources based upon the business requirement. So which uh, like a framework pillar is this? So it, it is basically re regarding the cost. So they want to only, they don't want to forecast unnecessary cost. They want to only pay if whatever they use. So it's come under the cost optimization. It's not the security. It's not the reliability. It's not the operation. It's the cost optimization. So the cost optimization is the correct answer. 
a company wants to launch is its workload on aws and require the system to automatically recover from failure so automatically recover from failure so which aws like a framework pillar so automatic re recover from failure is the reliability pillar so uh, reliability is the answer that the system is reliable if there is any failure it will automatically recover so reliability so this aws architecture there are basically six aws architect framework pillar you might get two to three questions in the exam a large enterprise with multiple vpc they have the many vpc in several regions around the world and they need to connect and centrally centrally manage network connectivity between its vpc so if they use vpc peering it will be very mesh right so we have the like uh, a star topology that is the AWS transit gateway using the star top it, it, this this basically use the star topology so using one point we will connect all the VPC and they will connect with each other so option B is the correct answer which AWS service support the creation of visual reports so we need to create a visual reports for AWS like BI tool or Tableau tool like kind of visual reports. Uh, for the cost and the uh, we have the cost and usage report data but we want to display in a maybe we have the excel but we want to display in a some like ui in a re visual report so which which tool we can use so the answer is quick site quick site is like the bi tool but provided by the like bi could be like table or like uh, this this kind of tool is uh, provided by some another uh, third party vendors but uh, there is a similar tool that is a quick site to service provided by the AWS. So this will help to create a visual report. Athena is just to run the SQL queries on the S3 logs. Cloud was to store, store the logs. Organization is to handle multiple accounts. So quick site is the answer. And uh, here like people give some like a uh, link as well. So let's try to open that link. The most popular cloud net is serverless BI service. So that is a BI service. So you will like uh, draw some reports in a, like uh, this kind of tool. So this looks good. Which AWS service should be used to monitor Amazon EC2 instance for CPU and network utilization? If we want to, if we have like spin up one EC2 instance, if we want to like uh, monitor the CPU and the network utilization, we can monitor using like uh, by alarms or the CloudWatch alarm. So answer is CloudWatch. Inspector is just for the security. CloudTrail is just to see which APIs are being hit. So config is like some of the different service just to like check. Uh, is there any configuration change uh, as per the compliance? Or Amazon CloudWatch is to store the logs, but they have so many features that the uh, CloudWatch metrics, CloudWatch alarms. So option C is correct. A company is preparing to launch a new web store that is expected to receive high traffic for an upcoming event. The web store runs only on AWS and company has AWS enterprise support plan. So they already have the enterprise support plan. Which AWS resource will provide guidance about how the company should scale its architecture during the, that event because they are expecting some like very high traffic uh, during some some upcoming event so they have the support plan so who who will guide them to uh, like who who will support during this event is this the abuse team so totally wrong abuse team is like if you find some if someone is using the aws and you find so that person is using the aws or to attack someone to do the hacking then we can write an email to the AWS team so we can share his ip so that is the abuse team and the tm is a technical account manager and the infrastructure event manager infrastructure event manager is also the part of the business enterprise business plan business support plan and the enterprise support plan and also even with the i think the developer support plan so so but we here we our support is required to the related to the infrastructure because the upcoming traffic will be high. So we need the like operational support, basically. Not a technical support. We need the operational support. So answer is AWS infrastructure event management. So C is correct. They told, they said B, but C is correct because the most voted answer is C. A user wants to deploy a service to the AWS cloud by using infrastructure as a code. So infrastructure as a code only, I think one service that is the cloud formation. 
using the crowd code, we can use we can write some JSON template or YAML template, and we can like create a like a cloud formation stack. We will deploy that stack, and whatever the services we mention within that template, whether it's EC2, security groups, uh, anything that will automatically get created like database. So uh, option B is correct. So option B is correct. So that's it. That's the end of the video.